jerk, Glenn Quagmire. One of these days, you're gonna get what you deserve. You better put something warm on. You got an icicle forming down there. <laughs> Dumb broad left her electric tampon warmer. Oh, hi, Meg. Hi, Mr. Quagmire. What can I do for you? I was wondering if I could borrow some roofies. Oh, sure, sure. Just a sec. Roofies, huh? Pretty big pill for such a little girl. Yeah, I know. But I asked someone to do me a favor, and they're not too keen on doing it. Oh, I know what they're for, honey. Seeing anyone special these days? Yay! Hey, obviously, right? <laughs> right? Of course, yeah. Okay, well, listen, good luck with everything, and uh, call me if you get arrested. I will. Thanks. That's what it's all about, Glenn. Don't rape it back, rape it forward. Oh, my God. It's perfect. Hello? Yeah, Merry Christmas. Um, listen, Peter, can you turn down those lights? I'm in bed with a three, and, um, extra light is not her friend. Y you're, uh, you're not gonna rape me, are you? Of course I'm not gonna rape you. I'm gonna make you fall in love with me. Then, we'll see what happens. Oh, no. It's already working. <laughs> All right, Chrissy, here we go. Oh, oh, oh my God! Is that Chris Griffin with Connie D'Amico? I think it is. Wow, that makes him popular. Hey, Griffin! Griffa! Griffa Mano! Wow, the jocks have never said hello to me before. <laughs> Hi, you guys! Wow, you did it, Connie. Griffin is popular. So you're gonna dump him now? No, Gina, I'm not. You're not? No. There's something about him. He's not like the other guys. I actually really like him. You do? Yeah. In fact, I'm going to his house for dinner tonight so I can meet his parents. Wow, Connie D'Amico is coming to my house for dinner! I just hope Dad doesn't embarrass us like he did when that one-legged guy came over. All right, well, if you like movie trivia, I got one that'll stump you. Uh, probably not really into tibia. Trivia. Uh... Boy, that global warming, huh? They say we lost a foot of snow last winter. Hey, how about another beer, huh? I bet you like the taste of hops. Uh, you only have one leg, sir. Oh, Connie, it's so nice to meet you. We're so excited that Chris is finally bringing a girl home for dinner. It's really nice to meet you, too, Mrs. Griffin. Um, do you mind if I ask what's up with your baby? I'm gonna work out. Again? It's like the eighth time today. I'm not satisfied until every vein is forced up against my skin. Look how vascular I am, Brian. If there's one thing women love, it's a vascular man. I've got veins. They carry blood all over my body. That's how John Mayer would say it. Baddie. I'm really into him now. You better be okay with it! Well, to answer your question, Connie, apparently I'm married to a man who thinks it's okay to inject an infant with steroids. Lois, knock it off for a sec. Connie, you are really pretty. I mean, you have filled out something wacky. Oh, thanks, Mr. Griffin. I like what you're doing with your boobs. Dad! So, Connie, now that you're dating my brother, maybe we can hang out, you know? Hey, after dinner, you want to come up to my room and give each other makeovers? I don't use makeup, Meg. Of course you don't. You're all natural. Man, your dad must be proud. Actually, my dad passed away four years ago. Yeah, yeah, he did. He sure did. You gonna shower before dessert? Reggie, Fitzy, T-Bone, Gagaboo, Nazi Guy. Griffa! Hey, we're totally stoked for your party this weekend. Oh, you know it, brother. It's gonna be awesome. We keep it on the down low so the spazoids don't catch wind. <laughs> Ugh, speaking of spazoids. Wow! Can you believe it, Connie? You and I are gonna be at the same party this weekend. Oh, this is so cool! Hey, what are you wearing so I make sure I don't wear the same thing? Um, you're not invited, Meg. What? But it's at my house. Ah, uh, Connie, let me handle this. I'm sorry, Meg, you can't come. There's an ass-to-boob ratio that you're way off of. Hey, Chris, come on. Let's corner the nerds and call them gay and make them show us their penises. <laughs> Won't that be gay of them? <laughs> yeah, that is grotesque. There you go, man. Awesome, bro. All right, guys, I gotta come up with some social media ideas for the brewery. What do you got? Oh, you went viral? You asked the right guy. You remember Leroy Jenkins? Yeah? Right. What do you mean, right? You know, Leroy Jenkins. What about him? Do that. Joe, you can't... That already happened. Do it again. 
This time with beer. Hang on a sec. I'm at the gym. I hate it here. I want to come home. Everybody's so mean, and there's this one guy who follows me around and calls me fat. Well, I suppose I... Hang on, honey. I'm getting another call. H hello Hey, is fat ass home yet? Put him on. I want... Oh, um, Peter, I'm just, uh, uh, gonna go out for a few hours. Uh, so I, I'll return in a few hours. <laughs> yeah, I'll do it when this is over. Hey, Lois, can you grab me a beer? Lois? Yeah, I think she went out. All right, then you'll be Lois. Okay. Hey, Lois, can you grab me a beer? Oh, my God, you've really let yourself go. Well, maybe if you bought me some nice clothes once in a while. Peter Griffin, we know you're in there. Come out with your hands up. Fooled ya. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you sure did. What the hell is this? It's the new police surveillance van. We're going on a beer run. Want to join us? No, I quit drinking. I think I might be an alcoholic. What? Oh, my God. Oh, man. <laughs> Fooled ya. Come on, let's go drink till we can't feel feelings anymore. This van has the latest in law enforcement technology. Watch. Suspect! Suspect! You have the right to remain silent. <laughs> Sweet. Hey, let me try. Cleveland, don't! Minority suspect! Minority suspect! Danger! He's got a gun! Hey, Joe, the van's gone! No, no, it's got a cloaking device that disguises it as two homeless guys fighting over a wedge of cheese. Hey, Peter, isn't that Lois over there in that diner? Yeah, what would Lois be doing at a diner? I already ate. Take a look. Oh, my God, that is Lois. What the hell is Lois doing with another man? Is it possible she's a whore? Uh, you know, just on weekends to help pay for her mom's dialysis? As in my fantasy? Uh, you know what, let's just start over. Hi, I'm Quagmire. I wish I knew what she was saying. I think I can help. Oh, your wife and children are beautiful. It's so good to catch up, Ross. I'm glad I called. I'm glad you did, too. So was your husband okay with you coming here? Uh, yes. He turned out to be just fine with it. All right. Let's see what we can pick up. Please don't spit my eggs. Please don't spit my eggs. Please don't spit my eggs. Thank you for the eggs. God, I hope he didn't spit my eggs. Hey, Doug, I just spit in that guy's eggs. <laughs> Our armies are ready. Soon it will be time to leave the sewers and strike back at the humans in the overworld. I'm glad we both found someone to make us happy. I really enjoy being with you, Ross. I'm having a great time. Oh, my God, that's who that is. Ross Fishman, Lois's old boyfriend. I think we're losing him. Wait, I gotta hear more. Peter, the power's not supposed to go that high. Damn, this itches. I wonder who gave it to me. Probably that skank who needed a ride to the gas station. Last time I'd do somebody a favor. Oh, God, they must have heard me. Oh, God, I can hear me. Stewie, no! That is a bad place to touch. No, 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 no. But, 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 but I, I, you, I, I... No more TV. Well, how about no more job? Hmm? You hear that, Miss Fussy Britches? I shall see you fired, damn you! But Mondays are Asian only. Why is your last name Wong? It's my married name. Now I see why you're here. Jeez, what was that about? Ah, a little scheduling mix-up. I am just so busy, I, I don't have any time to organize my own life. Wait a minute, what if you had someone to help keep you organized? Chris is looking for work, maybe he can help you out, be your assistant. Huh, maybe. Do you have any references? Uh, cowabunga, schwing, yada yada yada. Those are pretty good references. You're hired. Okay, Chris, I think you're gonna be a great assistant. Your paperwork appears to be in order, but before we get started, do you own a pair of rubber boots that you'd have to wear if you worked on a fishing boat? Uh, no, I don't think so. All right, I guess it'll be a light day today, but tomorrow you should come wearing those. Okay, got it. Now, the first thing I need you to do every morning is punch me in the stomach because I'm a bad person. Is this a trick? It's the furthest thing from a trick. Go ahead. And it should be pretty hard. I'm a worse person than you think. <gasps> okay, that's really good. Now I need you to call Time Warner about my cable bill. Where you going, kids? Hey, I just want to talk to you. Why don't you come over to my place for a glass of wine and a couple of fruit pies, and then we can go in the back room and play Crazy Snakes. <laughs> oh, 
Hello, Griffin. Mr. Pewterschmidt? Hey, how you been? Not good. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Wow, a limo, huh? Hey, are these diet rights just to take? No! Those are my diet rights. Pull over. Holy crap, what happened? Well, I think we simply found your true height. Before years of poor posture and wear and tear crushed your spirit and your spine. Wow. Mr. Griffin, let's discuss risk factors. Do you lead a lifestyle that's sedentary? Pet sedentary? I'm saying you need to strengthen your core and exercise regularly. Is that the hat? Stupid, right? Mama, may I have cookie? No, diabito. Roll back to kitchen. Oh. Sorry, sir. There's a weight limit on this coaster. Oh, really? What's the limit? The rule is you can't look hilarious on this motor scooter. <laughs> Let's see. I need plutonium for the time machine. But how do I get past those guards? Oh, wait, that's right. I'm in England. I can just walk past them holding a cup of tea. Morning. 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 Did you see something suspicious about that baby? Well, I did at first, but then he's got the tea vouching for him. There you go. Get it all out. Hey, guys. Peter, no, 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 no. over there. Ha <laughs> ha, no you don't. No, no, you can't go in there. No, no, stay out of there. That's my special area. Ah, 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 no, stop. I'm saying no. Ah, what kind of pie is this? Peter, it's making me watch. Hey, little man. So you're the guy who's been trying to steal my girlfriend. What? You... Girlfriend? What kind of sick, twisted game are you playing at? Stewie sounds a little cranky. I'll put him to bed. Ha! Ah, I got your hat! Take that, hatless! Now go back to the quad and resume your hacky sack tourney! I'm not gonna lie down for some frat boy bastard with his damn Teva sandals and his skull bandits and his Abercrombie and Fitch long-sleeved open stitch crew neck Henley smoking his sticky buds out of a soda can while watching his favorite downloaded Simpsons episodes every night. Yes, we all love Mr. Plow. Oh, you've got the song memorized, do you? So does everyone else! That is exactly the kind of idiot you see at Taco Bell at one in the morning. The guy who just whiffed his way down the bar skank ladder. Good night, Stewie. If he wants to throw hands, I'll throw hands. I tell you... How do... How do... Uh, uh.
A uh, bottle of Jack Daniels, please. Here you go. Thanks. What's this? That's your gun. Buy some liquor, get a free gun. Is, is that like a special you have on now or something? Nope. Texas state law. You have a nice day now. State law? God, this place officially sucks worse than the WNBA. And at the top of the second half, it's 16 to 9. Easton leads the scoring with four. And that's why she commands $7,000 a year. These gals sure do make it look difficult. But is having this minor skill worth being so unattractive? That's for the fan to decide. Yay! Every dollar I make, one goes to me and one goes to charity. I'm going to rent a Ferrari and cruise the pier. You want in? Well, cancer's not going anywhere. I'm sorry, Billy. You're one dollar short of being able to afford the surgery you need. Yay! Sweet. I know those guys. Oh, great. I always end up sitting next to a damn baby. What? What did you just say? Still, we stop fussing. Not now, Lois. Hey, big man, turn around. If you've got something to say, say it to my face. Oh, you can't hear me now. All right, that's it. I was going to watch the movie, but forget it. For the next five hours, you're my bitch. Where? Where? My ears are popping, and there's no way to console me. I'm hungry and possibly teething. Maybe I'm wet. Who knows? I'm a baby. Where? Where? But now you owe me. That means one day I'm going to come to you and ask for a favor. But I need to know something. I need to know that you're going to say yes when that day comes. Uh... Oh, okay. Can we go for ice cream? Come on! Mom! Mommy! 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 Mama! 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 Ma! 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 Mom! 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 Mommy! Mommy! Mama! 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 What? Hi. <laughs> they threw to the Pentagon. Do you know what sound a cow makes? Don't toy with me, Ernie. I've already dispatched with Mr. Hooper. I've got six armed men stationed outside Big Bird's Nest. And as for Linda? Well, it's rather difficult for a deaf woman to hear an assassin approach now, isn't it? Can you count to three? Oh, indeed I can. One, two, three! Hey, Brian, I thought maybe we could spend the afternoon together. Really? That'd be great. Awesome. Because uh, I got this new gun. Here we go. And uh, I thought we could go deep in the woods uh, where no one would ever think to look. Oh, boy. And uh, just shoot it. Awkward. You know, like so far in that no one can hear gunfire. A little on the news. Or screaming. Uh, I don't think so, Peter. Jeez, it's like he thinks I'm going to shoot him. He's acting all crazy like Quagmire when he drunk dials me. Hello. Hey, what, what are you what are you doing? Quagmire, I'm sleeping. Yeah, I was just out with Joe. What what are you, what are you doing? I just told you. Oh, that's right. I just I I just asked that. I, I forgot. Hey, hey, this song ma made me think of you. So li wait, listen to this song. Isn't that awesome? You said you weren't gonna call him. It's not him, you big bully. Joe Joe told me not to call you. So, so what, so what are you doing? 